Congratulations, Angel Rushton. Not the title fight, but you're still Australian champion and Yala Tamar came to fight. She certainly did. And, you know, as I saw in her interview with you guys before, she said we were going to be fight of the night. Like I said, I, I think we pulled that off right now. Fairly happy with the progress there, Glenn. Yeah, it's been really good. You know, it's just a matter of continually building the skills and also gaining the experience at the same time. So, yeah, that's good. It's only a fifth fight, so good job tonight and very disciplined. And that's the way it's got to be, of course, if you want to get to the top. It seemed like you were moving really well. You were in and out, and that seemed to be the game plan, yes? Yeah, I think that my footwork is what sets me apart from other fighters. Obviously, Dad's well-renowned for his fighters having great footwork, and um, I knew that that was what was going to win me this fight. I mean, it might not always be the case, but certainly we knew for Jala that that was going to be the way to win. Yeah, good is she? Look, she can go all the way. There's no question about that. She's she's there every day, and that's about, as uh, I think famously said by Woody Allen once, 90% of success in life is just turning up and she turns up every day. If you do that and you've got a dream and you believe in yourself and you've got the right team, then yes, she can go all the way and she can certainly go all the way and become a world champion. All right, Gold Coast, it's one thing for me to say, but what's it mean to you when he says it? Oh, I can see a little smile on my face, a little cheeky smile, but yeah, you know, uh, like I said in the ring, everyone knows how much I love my dad. And so, you know, when you're hearing those words of praise, it's, that's what drives you to be great.